If Carolyn Quentin's desire comes true, Lady Burbrook could appear in Bridgerton Season 3. She's talked about returning and how much she's appreciated the atmosphere and, and being a part of the iconic cast. Stay tuned to find out what she had to say, along with other need-to-know Bridgerton Season 3 news. Trust us, you don't want to miss this one. First up, this Bridgerton star is hopeful that they could return in Season 3 following a Season 2 absence. Now, the actor we're talking about is Carolyn Quentin's, who portrayed Lady Burbrook in Season 2. Now, she's really hoping she can appear in Bridgerton Season 3. The experienced TV actress starred as Nigel Burbrooks in just one episode during the first season, but did not appear again in the second season. I think I had one and a half scenes. I was very unhappy that they never contacted me again, she recently stated. When asked if she'd wear the Regency era costume again, she exclaimed, Naturally, I would. They are the most beautiful guys you've ever seen. It was a really fun day. I, I had so much fun on it. She continued further, stating, It's very hard work, but it was a glorious day. And because of the storytelling is very joyful, there was something about being on set that everyone, like, it, they just couldn't wait for the next bit of plot to unfold because the characters were so extreme, aren't they? It remains to be seen whether she's gonna appear, but we hope for her sake that she does. Now, this is everything you need to know about season three. Thankfully, Netflix revealed back in April 2021 that the historical drama romance had had been renewed for two more seasons, just before the highly anticipated season two began filming. So far, there's no indication on when the next installment will be released, only that it will be released. Season two debuted a little more than a year after season one, although considering that production was halted by COVID, the creative team might rush season three's creation. If that's the case, the following chapter should be released in spring 2023. Fingers crossed. So what's season three gonna be about? Colin recently revealed Penelope, AKA Lady Whistledown, and Colin Bridgerton's courtship is gonna be the focus of the third season. This is gonna be a break from the order of the books. In the written series, Benedict, or Luke Thompson, would be the next Bridgerton to get the lead treatment, as he does in An Offer from a Gentleman book. Instead, the focus will be on the fourth novel in the lineup, which focuses on Colin. Popular media outlet Variety spoke with Jess Brownell, who will follow Chris Van Dusen as a showrunner for season three. I believe it is Colin in Penelope's time. We've already invested in both of these performers since we've been watching them on our television since season one. Colin said, she learned of the season three plans two weeks into filming season two, so she had plenty of time to change. The actress also joked about being ready to shoot sex scenes. I'm gonna have to. Season 3 will undoubtedly dive deeper into its intriguing subplots in addition to the romance at its center. Despite concluding on a joyful note, Bridgerton Season 2 raises some major questions. Now, the answers to which can be found in the Bridgerton books, but uh, we hope they cover some of these cliffhangers in Season 3. First up, will Colin and Penelope reconcile in Season 3? Season 2 of Bridgerton is filled with clues that Colin Bridgerton is warming the idea of Penelope Featherington as a romantic interest. With the third Bridgerton son declaring that Penelope is important to him. However, in the final episode of Bridgerton Season 2, titled The Viscount Who Loved Me, Penelope overhears Colin telling his peers that he would never court her. The cutting statement appears to be out of place for Colin's normally emotionally astute character, leaving viewers to wonder if there are other off-screen cases impacting his sentiment for Penelope. Bridgerton on Netflix offers Colin and Penelope's relationship a jumpstart by planting the seeds of their romance in Season 2. Although, Colin and Penelope do not embark on this trip until Book 4. While there are little hints as to why Colin talks negatively of Penelope in Bridgerton Season 2, anticipate Colin and Penelope to begin their reconciliation in Bridgerton Season 3. Secondly, will the Sharma family return in Season 3? One striking aspect of Netflix Bridgerton adaption is how quickly the series rotates its key cast members, bringing in new Bridgerton siblings in line with Julia Quinn's novel's approach. This is best demonstrated by the way Daphne Bridgerton's character is treated in the series, transitioning from the key pillar of Bridgerton's story in Season 1 to a somewhat tertiary figure in Season 2. With Kate abroad on her honeymoon and Edwina's position in this series of love triangle being played out, this one had led many fans to fear the Sharma family not being featured significantly again in the upcoming season. Now, unfortunately for Sharma family fans, Julia Quinn's works uh, appears to support this theory as well. After the events of the Viscount Who Loved Me, the Sheffield family, whose name was altered for the Netflix series, is rarely seen again in the Bridgerton novels, with future Bridgerton seasons unlikely to dwell on the family in great depth ever again. In the third season, will Edwina meet the prince? Season 2 of Bridgerton makes a huge jump with Edwina's character by having her fall in love with the Viscount, only to be abandoned in the end. In the book, the two never go down the aisle, and Anthony never proposes to either, but Edwina's prospects are bright, since guys come to court her on a daily basis. More than a halfway through the book, we find out that she's in love with a man named Mr. Bagwell, and it's believed that she will marry him. Bagwell doesn't appear on the Netflix series, but Prince Friedrich does, and the Queen mentions introducing the two in the season finale. Is this actually gonna happen? Can the Queen finally see her nephew married after two failed attempts? If the third time 
the charm between and the queen are in line. But because we don't know if Charithra Chandran will return in season 3, it's difficult to predict who she's gonna marry. Next up, what's gonna happen with the Featherington heir? The arrival of Lord Jack, the Featherington successor, is one of the most tense moments of Bridgerton season 2, with the heir ultimately proving to be as devious as the late Baron Featherington. Portia eventually chooses the safety of her family over Lord Jack, but not before engaging in various plots with him, including the forgery of jeweler's documents. This begs the issue of how Jack might choose to retaliate in Bridgerton Season 3, with the phony Featherington heirs' next move becoming increasingly enigmatic. Because Julia Quinn's novels don't cover this specific Featherington heir plotline, it's unclear what's going to happen next with Jack, but Bridgerton fans should brace themselves for further devious acts as Baron Featherington's cousin attempts to wriggle his way back into the family money. So, can we expect Eloise to tell anyone about Lady Whistledown's real identity? Eloise finding out her best friend Penelope is none other than the scandalous Lady Whistledown is without a doubt the most dramatic event in all of Bridgerton Season 2. This discovery sparks furious exchanges between Eloise and Penelope, presumably putting an end to their lifelong friendship. Despite Penelope's efforts as Whistledown to distract Vision from Eloise, whether Eloise will revenge against Penelope for the damage she's caused the Bridgerton family, that, that remains to be seen. While this revolution in Netflix's Bridgerton is similar to Julia Quinn's novels, the book version of Eloise handles the news far better and is able to continue without disclosing her friend's hidden identity. Given the arrival of Theo Sharp to the Bridgerton series and Eloise's attendance at a radicalized women's conference, it wouldn't be shocking if Eloise decided to exact revenge on Penelope using her Lady Whistledown information in Bridgerton Season 3. Finally, will we see Anthony be more open with his own siblings? This past season, Anthony Bridgerton's arc is epic, showing the viewer the agony of guilt and how it affects communication. While Anthony does an excellent job with his family's finances, he has severed ties with the majority of his siblings. In a quiet talk with his younger brother, Gregory, he expressed concern about arriving late. We witness him dancing with his youngest sister, Hyacinth, in a joyful moment with the entire family. Now that Anthony isn't carrying his brother's responsibilities alone, we could expect increased involvement and openness among his siblings. They've all kept something from him out of fear, but with this new beginning, perhaps they'll feel more ready to talk. And this could be crucial in Benedict's case if Sophie is still a servant and needs his brother's sincere approval to marry her. And there you have it, the Bridgerton star who wants to return to the upcoming season after an absence in season two. Thanks for watching.